what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys. And this time we're going to be opening the Transformers Studio Series Gamer Edition War for Cybertron Barricade. So they finally made a deluxe class barricade toy. And he's probably not going to be that good, but I bought it anyways. Do I have a problem? <laughs> anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at him. So this is him in the packaging. This is not a review. I want to make that clear. Oh, I didn't even notice this gamer logo thing on the side there. Usually it's an Autobot or Decepticon symbol, but uh, I guess not. I guess we're doing that. So let's go ahead and open it from the bottom like I usually do and slide this guy out. And there he is. There's the instructions. And uh, of course, we got to get him out of the packaging itself. We got to get the gun out, which should be easy. There we go. And <laughs> look at his feet sticking up there. That's hilarious. He's a bulky guy. Wow. I knew he was going to be, but I didn't think he was going to be that bulky. What are you drinking? Muscle milk or something? I, I don't know. Do I look like I would know? I don't look like I would know. All right, so the backpack needs to kind of come down and then fold out from there, I guess. Uh, he's got a massive backpack. Like, you're going to have to destroy this. But, oh, maybe not. Okay, there we go. And then, let's see, slide that down, move that up, and there he is! There's Barricade out of the packaging. Of course, we need to fold out the feet and disconnect the legs. Uh, do the arms rotate to a proper looking direction? They should, but that joint is tight. There we go, okay. Is it supposed to go that way or the other way? I think it's supposed to go this way, because that was a big problem as the thumb gets in the way of the panel there. So we do the same thing to the opposite side, like that. And we rotate the fist around, and we pull down the backpack. Does it tab? Yeah, it should tab into place. Doesn't really tab too well now, does it? Oh, maybe it's not locked in. Maybe that's why. Come on. There we go. Okay, I heard that click. That's a satisfying click. All right, are these supposed to go down further? I guess not. And uh, there is the Gamer Edition Barricade. Now, what I will say about it is he looks decent in person, but he's got so much kibble going on. I mean, look at the backpack. I, I do like these purple bits over top. That looks fine, but man, it just looks like a lot. Um, the arms really should have bent further than that. That is... That's not good. I I'm sorry, that is not good. Uh, a lot of kibble around the legs now. You can bring these down, but they don't actually look as bad as I thought they would. Um, the knees don't bend too far, and then the foot doesn't even have a tilt. Does he have a waist joint? Yeah, he does. But it's just upsetting to me that the Bumblebee movie toys that have more complex designs are able to get away with what they're able to do and then this is just... It doesn't have a foot tilt. I, I don't get why they couldn't do that. Is it because of the size? The budget? I, I don't know. But you could take the arm and plug in the gun, which that looks fine. I like that. Can you plug the arm on the back? Uh, maybe. Can you slide it in there? No, you can't really. But you can, if you want, take the gun and plug that onto the back. So at least the gun can store somewhere. But, uh, yeah, not sure how I feel about this toy right now. I will transform him off camera and see how he is, but, um, uh, oh, I love the head with the yellow. That looks nice. Um, they actually had quite a few barricades there. They did not have too many bumblebees, but, uh, yeah, um, he, he looks fine, but he can't really stand. <laughs> okay, there we go. I had to lean him forward, but, uh, yikes. Yikes, the engineering on this toy should have uh, probably went back. This is engineering of the old D Transformers toys, which I guess if you want to put uh, want to put them with all the other Follow Cybertron, War for Cybertron toys, well, there you go. But, I mean, this is, what, over a decade later, and with Studio Series now, it should be a lot better than that. I'm sorry for complaining a lot, but I just don't understand why they left it like this. So... With that, I will transform them. Well, okay, I see what they're cooking up. This salt mode is fantastic. I love the front bumper. It kind of reminds me of the movie version. And just the lines, the details, the paint, the purple, the yellows. Oh, that looks fantastic. The only complaint I really have about this alt mode is 
the wheels. There's no paint. And also I chipped this when trying to unplug that, but now we can also plug the gun on top and that looks pretty good. So with that way, I thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, all those fun do that, and I will see you guys next time. All Spark TV. Now that's just prime.